Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cherno, and I'm here to answer one question. What is Cherno Engine? Well, Cherno Engine is a game engine. It's an open source game engine that I'm making uh, specifically for Lottom Dare because there is a rule in Lottom Dare, as you can see right now, that actually exempts you from writing all of your code. Basically, uh, the deal is if you want to use other code that you've already written, like base code or like a library, uh, you can as long as it's declared and that it's basically open source and anyone can see the code to it. Um, and as you can imagine, it's completely legal to do that because people use game engines like Unity, for example, uh, a lot. I, I'd say more than half of the people doing Autumn Dare are using Unity. And that, of course, does a lot of the work for you. So it's completely fair to write your own kind of base library and basically a game engine uh, so that during the... Um, during the time, I guess, or during the uh, actual Ludum Dare competition, you don't waste time doing that stuff. Because last time I did Ludum Dare, I did express that I didn't uh, really like the idea of spending, you know, 50% or 50 or maybe even more time on actually writing boilerplate code, or essentially just code that, that you know, should have already been written, because it's the same for every game, and I still have to write it. Whether, whether I be doing OpenGL or just normal, uh, Java rendering, you know, like a pixel-based array. Um, you still there's all this code that you have to write. So what I decided to do is make a game engine, right? Called Cherno Engine. Now it was originally called Cherno Engine. That's what it was called. But after popular requests and because I came up with the idea, I renamed it to Cherno. Okay, so the engine is called Cherno. So like Cherno 0.1 right now. Um, <clears throat> so what it is again, it's a game engine. You guys can find it on GitHub right now. Um, so GitHub.com forward slash the Cherno forward slash Cherno. Okay, so the repository is called Cherno because that's the name of the game engine, and there'll be a link in the description, of course. So uh, the reason I'm telling I'm telling you all of this, apart from the fact that um, you might want to know, is because uh, of two reasons. The first reason is I'm live streaming the development of it pretty much completely. So whenever I'm developing it, I'm live streaming it, um, and you guys can see those live streams on Twitch.tv forward slash the Cherno. Okay, I actually did one last night where I started, you know, from scratch basically. And I actually started making the engine. Um, and I'll be live streaming all throughout the, I guess, next two weeks leading up until Ludum Dare. So um, if you don't want to miss a live stream, follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter account, of course, is right over here. So it's at the Cherno. So twitter.com forward slash the Cherno. Um, and uh, as you can see, I was live streaming last night. Um, but the idea is follow me there because I'll tweet out whenever I'm going live. And Twitter, Twitter of course, is the best way to receive it. It's like short updates. Um, if you are unable to, you know, make it to a live stream, but you still want to see it, I'm not going to be uploading it to YouTube because I play a lot of copyrighted music during these streams. Uh, but um, if you go to my Twitch uh, channel and you go to my profile and my past broadcasts, you'll actually see because I am saving them here. So you can see this is the stuff from Ludum Dare 28. That's actually the last time I streamed. I haven't streamed in ages. But here is the Making Cherno Engine framework. This is uh, like three hours, 26 minutes. That's what it, that's what it did last night. Um, so you can watch the, the entirety of that stream if you like. Um, and that'll be all the development of that, of course. Uh, but um, yeah, make sure that you follow me on this as well, because um, uh, whenever, I go, whenever I go live, I think it'll either appear on your homepage on Twitch or it will send you an email, I'll probably do both of those. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's the idea. I don't know if they send emails anymore. They're used to though. Um, anyway, so the GitHub repository though. Um, this engine is completely open source, right? It does have a license, okay? The license is a general public license or um, a GPL license. Uh, version 3, okay, not version 2, that's a bit of a difference, but the point is that this license, you can read it, um, it's about, what, well, 674 lines worth, um, but the idea is that you guys are free to develop any game you want using this engine, distribute it, uh, I guess, however you want, as long as um, credit is given to me, so in other words, it's attributed that I actually wrote the engine and I made it. Um, as well as you have to enclose this same license with your game. So you cannot make a game and make it closed source using this engine. It has to be, if, you, if you're going to make a game using this engine, it has to be uh, a GP, GPL uh, version 3 license with it, okay? Same license has to, that, that's the idea. That's the basis of it, okay? There's obviously a lot more uh, different terms, but that's really important that you guys understand that license. Um, <clears throat> okay, great. So, um, right. So, because I'm I'm making this uh, not only for myself to use in Ludum Dare, but I also want you guys to use it in Ludum Dare if you'd like. Um, because, obviously, uh, you know, uh, like, there's tons of you guys who really want to jump into Ludum Dare, but you kind of, you, you, you're not sure 
um, if you're ready or you're not sure if you can maybe make a game. So this engine is going to help you out tremendously. It's going to be very, very simple to use. That's the idea. Uh, it's going to take away the focus on, um, you know, advanced rendering and actually having to implement that stuff manually as well as, you know, sound level design, uh, maps, and um, what's the other thing? Entities, entity frameworks. That'll all be done, okay? Obviously, it's not done yet. It's only been like, again, three hours. So I've spent like three and a half hours on it so far. But um, uh, it's going to have all those features, right? And uh, you'll be able to just jump in and make a game. So I'm probably going to release some kind of videos in the future once this engine gets a bit up. To date, um, I'm probably going to release some videos as to, um, I don't know, if you guys are interested. Again, if you guys are actually interested in this engine and you want me to continue doing it, then obviously comment and a like on this video is much appreciated. But um, I'll, probably, I'll probably release uh, videos on how to use the engine properly um, and stuff like that. But the point is, the point is, the reason I'm showing you this GitHub repository is because um, I want you guys to actually collaborate with me on this, right? I do. Um, if you, okay, first of all, you can fork it. I'm not going to go over like a Git tutorial or a GitHub tutorial um, <clears throat> on how to use Git and everything. But the point is, uh, for example, let's just say you're using this engine um, and you find an error, right? And uh, there's an error in, <clears throat> let's just say the, uh, the display class, right? There's like an error, like right over here or whatever. What you guys can actually do is you can open up an issue. You see there's like an issues tab here. You can actually create an issue here, right? New issue. Um, and you can describe what the issue is. You can assign files to it as well, of course. Or even better, what you guys can do is if you actually click on either the commit message here or the four commits, right? You can choose a commit. Let's just say over here, I um, there's actually a lot of stuff that I did here. Um, mob support, sprite and sprite class, whatever. Bunch of stuff. If you guys go to the actual hash for that, um, <clears throat> or the code for that, whatever, and you, you check you check this out, and you're like, oh, okay, here you added the, um, let's find something that could be a problem. Uh, not that this is pretty simple so far, but let's just say, oh, this removed is private, right? Maybe make it protected or whatever. You can actually leave a comment um, over here, right on that line, being like, hey, you know, do this, do that. Um, or if you have general uh, comments on the commit, you can leave them here. And the point is that, um, you know, you can open up issues, and you, and you can be like, oh, here's a bug, here's, <clears throat> here's a bug, here's something that didn't work out. And so like that, but the point is that um, you know, together we can collaborate and we can make this engine basically the best Java two uh, D uh, kind of pixel based engine that there is out there, and that's really the plan. That's the dream. Um, so that's the idea, right? And you guys, of course, are free to use this however you like, as long as you make that, uh, as long as you attribute it to me and you um, <clears throat> keep the same license with whatever you create with it. But yeah, that's the idea, all right. Um, so if you guys are interested in more videos on this. Uh, if you guys are interested in live streams, make sure that you uh, keep your eye out on that. I will post a video to YouTube every time I go live, but um, due to YouTube's publishing and stuff, you might not see it for like the first hour. Um, <clears throat> that's why I'm, I'm recommending you follow me either on Twitch or Twitter. But that's it, all right? That's what the Cherno engine is. I'm going to be spending a lot of time on it in the next two weeks. And, uh, and I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I do. Goodbye.